hello folks welcome to the javer visited youtube channel in this course of python you will learn python from start to end if you are a beginner and you want to learn python then this course is for you uh, but we will learn in python course for beginner we will see a quick introduction software for python hello world program and comments in python data types in python and variables loops for loops and while loops in python and we will also see a lot of things in python like if else if statement sets dictionary list tuple so these are the basic thing that every beginner have to know about python so if you want to become python developer you should have to know about these things so these are the most important thing as a python developer so introduction to python python is a widely used programming language or general purpose programming language developed by van rosen in 1991 it is object oriented programming language its syntax is very easy to learn as compared to other programming languages but is meant by object oriented language mean in object oriented we study sub, uh, topics like encapsulation abstraction etc etc so this is the basic concept of uh, introduction to python and concept of python so anyone can start its programming career from python so if you want to learn python so please don't skip this course you will learn python from start to end from beginner to advanced so after this course you can start any programming language so our next question is that uses of python you can use python as a desktop application you can make desktop application you can use it at games you can make gui application what is meant by gui application gui application mean graphical user interface application you can use it as scripting you can use it as backend language and here you can see the top website that use python and top is a uh, youtube google Dropbox, spotify i'm not going to name all of them here you can see instagram these are the top website that you can see using python so you should have to learn python from start to end in this course so please don't skip this course and watch this course till end so now we are going to download our ide for python so i i'm just going to download or install vs code because i love vs code uh, and i would like to use vs code for programming you can also use python for for python but i'm not going to download python so you can download python for your python so just click on download and you will get the download option and you can download it for windows linux or mac but i'm just going to download vs code because i i already told you that i like vs code now here you can download it for windows linux or mac it depend on you that if you it depend on your operating system that what kind of operating system you are using and using windows so i will download it for windows so you can see thanks message thanks for downloading and okay it will start so it it may it take some time so don't worry just sit back and wait for it here you can see it start downloading it depend on your internet it just takes 5 mb okay i'm just going to pause it the, the installation process is very easy you just have to click next 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 as you download any other software so after this you will see this window on as a on vs code so don't skip this part i'm just saying don't skip this part this is the most important part of python if you want to start python in vs code so i'm just going to making some setting or starting some settings so you can guys can start your python in vs code first of all you guys have to install an extension called code code runner this is the most important uh, uh, extension that you have to install uh, the first thing is that you have to install the code runner extension just click on this extension option after that just search code runner here code runner and you will see a uh, extension here and just install it uh, here is my disable button but you have you will get install option here and after that you have to install python just click just search for python and you will also get python here it's, it's installing so i am just not going to install it so 
so after that what you have to do is that just click on the this gear button or this setting button a uh, or in manage button just click on it and go to settings after that you have to make some settings here so you guys can use just uh, just write code runner runner after this you have to check this one whether to clear previously or put before each one after this scroll down and I would I would like to recommend that you have to check some things here like that you have to check code code runner run in terminal and save all file before run and I would like to say you can also check save file before run and I show execution message you can also you can also check these other so the mo the most important thing to check run in terminal okay after that I would like to make another setting just press just search for zoom wheel zoom wheel zoom wheel zoom wheel okay okay I'm not showing okay search for wheel okay here, here we go you have to check this mouse uh, check this box zoom the font of the editor using mouse and wiki just check this so what what is what will you get is that let me show you let me show you the uh, let me show you the output so here you can see i will make a new folder here pi and let me show you the output main.py i will make a new file here and after that i will write something here no writing i will just show you just press control and scroll you will see it's zooming but if you will not check the button or not check the box it will not scroll or it will not zoom it will help you to see because if you are using on pc and it may help you to to save your eyes so you don't have to need it need to worry about the these kind of things okay now what I'm going to do I'm going to do is that we are going to start our Python course from now so guys now we are going to start our Python course if you are a beginner then must watch it till end so you can learn Python from start to end this course is especially for beginners uh, as I already mentioned okay <clears throat> just click on the Explorer button here and then you will see open folder otherwise you can also also open it directly open from this start uh, you can see start and click on open folder you will see uh, here I have folders I'm going to select the Python one because I'm going to use Python so you can also make another folder if you want uh, uh, if you already have so you can simply select the folder okay here you can see so I'm going to create a new file here uh, I will name it as main.py because this is our main python file so you uh, let me zoom so you guys can see it more perfectly okay here you can see so uh, first of all I'm going to uh, I'm going to make a comment I, I will also mention that what is command how can we use command in our Py, uh, VS code or in python so I am just going to uh, write that writing not writing getting started with python getting started with python so now we are going to write our first program in python so what we are going to let me make some space okay that's good okay now in python we write our now we are going to write our first program or our first uh, hello world program in python so how can we write simply write print to print the statement print and this bracket and double quotation write hello world simply okay now run this when you will run it's you can see it's running in terminal and here you can see hello world okay now our print our hello world program is running successfully and we run our first program in python okay that's good okay now what we have to do i am going to show some other program uh, uh, so that we can also learn more about print statement print this is my first python program 
okay let me also run this here you can see hello world and again this is my first python program okay let do something more with python print statement okay print a uh, this is a string well this is a string uh, let me make it a this is a string what is string string is uh, like uh, alphabetically the the alphabets are known as string here in programming you can say that if you are a beginner uh, otherwise you have to know if you use, use any programming if you already learned any programming like C Java you must have to know uh, you must know about strings and integer data type and what is now we are going to use our integer data type let me make a, a make a comment uh, this is a integer data type integer data type okay fine now write print and we are going to uh, let me add some numbers 100 plus 100 now here you can see I'm going to add two numbers simply and here you can see uh, the result uh, let me zoom no it cannot be zoomed because this is in terminal uh, uh, here you can see now you can see that the answer is 200 okay you can also make some change uh, this is an integer Okay, now we are going to add a float so let's say can python do this this is a float what is float uh, this is a integer because we added simply two numbers 100 plus 100 or you even you can also add something else like 200 plus 100 let me show you it's 300 okay fine now we are going to add float and uh, what is float float is let me show you print 100 110 dot 5 when 10.4 plus 1 2 whatever you want to add okay let me show you it its a result and now here you can see here you can see its answer in float float mean in dot form uh, like something like in dots that continue after the numbers in the dot form so it's called float in python so here you can see we write it our print statement and also write our first program and now we are going to learn about comments what are comments in python so there are two types of comment let me also create a new file comment.py py mean python you have to write this to write our python co uh, python programs okay there are two types of comment let me write first types of comments okay the first one is let me zoom it for you so you guys can see it clearly okay first the first one is single line comment single line comment and the second one is multiple line comment And now the first question is what is comment so yeah I forgot to mention this what is comment okay now fine okay what is comment the answer is comment means a uh, for example you have write some code here like hello world and you want to give it to your friend that he can also he or she can also learn from your code so uh, if you write that this is a print statement control slash this is a, this is a print statement so he or she will uh, so he or she will say uh, will see your code and can understand that this is a command and the command can not affect any uh, effect to your code but it will also help to you understand that this is a command so what the statement is doing simply you have write that this statement is writing hello print, a print statement this is a simply a print statement and here you can see this is a command and not uh, not affecting our program let me show you 
hey you can see the only you can see only hello world not anything in the program like what is command uh, this is print statement you can't see because this is command and this is the benefit of command that you can use in your programs well this is the you uh, uh, it is called a command and now we are going to talking about a uh, uh, types of command well there are two types of command single line command and multiple line command now what is single line command this is a single line command let me show you this is a single line command single line command and now how can we add a command in our in our line simply press control a uh, simply press control and slash with the mouse uh, let me show you uh, this is our line print and press control slash uh, sorry first of all you have to select this one and control slash okay now you can see this is uh, automatically it becomes a comment now this will not affect to your program and if you want to add hash manually simply uh, press control uh, sorry shift hash and you will see this is a this is a this is a single line command okay fine now this is a single line command where we understand how to write comment and uh, and now we now we know that what is single line command and now we are going to talk about a multiple line command that what is multiple line command and how can we also use this multiple line command in our python programs so you guys know that the line is known as single line command even if, if you can uh, you can also write uh, multiple lines and make it a single line command like this this is this is a single sorry for this one i apologize single line command and press enter and multiple line okay you can also use here a single line command simply uh, press uh, select uh, all the statement and press control slash it will become automatic single line comment and your code uh, and your and your and your comment is ready and uh, you can use your code perfectly nothing is going to happen with your code okay now we are going to talking uh, we are going to talk about a multiple line command what is multiple line command? well we we use multiple line command like triple code like one two three okay this is a multiple line command multiple line line command okay fine let me show you okay here you can see only hello world because nothing is here else a uh, print hello world uh, let me write also another thing here a uh, here okay not here here okay. print statement this is another comment in python fine okay let me run this here you can see only hello world and this is comment another comment in python you can see this is the print statement and we have learned about uh, comments and also about print statement and learn about multiple single line command and multiple line command and also learn that how can we use comment in our python programs so now we are going to learn our data types in python so let me make another file here data types data type dot pi okay fine okay now we are going to learn data types that what are data types in python you must have here if you learn another if you already know c c plus plus java python otherwise any other language like javascript so you must have uh, you must have awareness about data types okay now we are going to talk uh, talk about or we going to learn about uh, data types in python let me make a comment here data types in python okay the first thing is that uh, we must have to know about the data types we must have to know we must have awareness about data type, that how many kind of data types are available in python so the first is as i already mentioned in the in the main.py you must have uh, in the print section in the print statement okay now we are using data types so i will also explain you from the start string string is one integer float list and dictionary 
and dic or dictionary well there is another data type called uh, tuple so tuple and now we are going to learn data types so let's start and get ready okay the name is equal to let me make another comment this is string so okay name is equal to j or list okay now here you can see that uh, i just named a variable name is equal to jvr visited this is a variable i will also mention in other videos uh, jvr is e uh, name is equal to jvr visited and now we are going to print name just write name and then see and it said jvr visited okay our programming is running successfully so i am going to cut it and also we are going to see integer data type you can also check another example like youtube channel is equal to programming you can also use this kind of programming to enhance your programming skills as a python program programmer and you have to write youtube channel and let me run this okay here you can see programming because we just have write it here in double quotation everything that we write in double quotation will be appear here in the in the terminal section or in the output now this is this is integer data type integer data type okay uh, I'm just going to name it a variable x is equal to x is equal to 100 and then print x here you can see this is a integer data type now float float uh, x is equal to no y y is equal to 120.5 let me also run this and let me show you it's not showing the answer because i did not use the print statement here print y and here you can see 120.5 now uh, we are going to learn list and dictionary what is list uh, you, for example you have to you have to go somewhere and uh, you have to uh, remind but you but, but you uh, what you came uh, for example you want to go in bazaar in market and then you have to buy something else is uh, something for you and you must forget what you have to buy so you can make a list list is equal to a list like this that you have to buy some fruits some things for you like uh, you have to buy programming books like c plus plus java so you can remind this the list will remind you that what you have to buy here and python okay let me run this print list okay fine and compile this here you can see this is our list you can simply get it here okay this is our list you can also make an other example okay let me first comment this and i'm going to use another you can simply name it as books is equal to i just use list because to show you uh, books like english programming books like c++ as we mentioned in the previous example books like physics and also other things like uh, physics computer science okay let me run this uh, it's not saying anything i think i've made a mistake okay because i did not print, used a print statement here print books print books make sure that used capital okay fine now run this here you can see this is our list okay so if you also want to use dictionary so 
same like the procedure of list you can also use the I, I did not use list this is a list okay now what we are going to do I'm just commenting it out okay uh, this is a dictionary dictionary now how can we use dictionary in python it's very easy as we use as we use list in python we can also use dictionary in python like uh, you can say fruits you have to buy some fruits like fruits is equal to and you have now you have to use delimiters here or curly braces you can also call it delimiters now you have to use it delimiters here like uh, apple you have to buy some fruits apple orange so I forgot the double quotation orange and other things like pineapple pineapple okay I apologize for this And let me run this. Uh, I did not use the print statement. Let me write it first. Print fruits. Okay. So here you can see this uh, orange pineapple and apple pineapple. Here you can. This is our dictionary as we used in in our dictionary. So we used it very simply as we used uh, our list so we can also use our dictionary in python like this so what we are going to learn now we are going to learn in details that how can we use now in, in not now we will learn it later so now we will learn about uh, if else condition because these are the most important things in um, any programming language if else conditions are the most important things and then we will learn we will learn loops for loop while loop and then we will go for then we will we'll learn a uh, we will learn tuple strings list in details so you can guys also enhance your enhance your programming skills so i'm going to create a new file here i'm going to name it as if.py because i'm going to show you that how can we use if statement in python so i'm going to name it as if statement so i'm going to add a comment here if statement in python fine that's good okay let me make some space okay now we are going to use if statement the first question is what is if statement if statement let me show you with example then you will understand more betterly uh, first of all a uh, print enter your name write this like this enter your name then you will you can understand this better uh, enter your name after this you have to do one thing that name is equal name uh, our here name is a variable name is equal to name is equal name is equal to input because we are going to take our input so you will understand you will also understand the concept of inputs in python that hope and you guys can take input simply name is equal to in name is a variable and we are going to take input so simply let me run this so enter your name you can write anything you want you can write your name so now there is nothing so it said enter your name i just entered so i'm gonna i was just showing it to you and now what you have to do is print also add another print print statement and write enter your age enter your age and now here this is the most important thing that you have to know about integers now age is an integer data type not and string because in name is a string and as i mentioned in the data types a name is a string and age is a, a integer data type so you have to use like age is equal to integer because age is integer so here a bracket input 
and add other bracket so fine here you also can add uh, uh, your name is like your name is name okay so uh, you have to add a uh, comma here so it will look more good or it will also help you to run this program perfectly otherwise it will not run it will give you an error so age is equal to integer input and and other stay and another bracket inside the input and print statement also add a print statement here your age is age you can also add it here but i just use another print statement because i do not want to make it uh, weird so i use this this method so now what we are going to do let me run this and let me show it to you oh here is an error so let me see what's the error what's the error it's sad programming peak okay fine okay fine i just understand let me remove this line and also remove let me remove this one and let's check it said enter your name enter your age fine here you can see this is just an example and i'm just going to add another thing print your age let's check this why it's not working your age is age okay now let me run this again and now your age is 20 fine it's working fine your age is colon okay fine now what we are going to do we are going to add a if statement here so can you so you guys can understand the concept of if statement so now what i'm going to do if because this is an if statement so you must you must have to add if so if age is equal to greater than equal to 18 it's me if age is equal to or greater than if greater than 18 then it will print that I'm sorry for this that you are a mature that you are mature or whatever you want to write it's just an example as as you also have to add as print you are a kid you are a kid now I'm just going to compile this going to compile enter your name my age is just going to adding a random age 25 like 26 whatever you want to write and it said you are mature because i'm i just write here uh, we just added a condition here if age equal to greater than 18 then you, uh, you are a mature otherwise you are a kid so let me compile this again and okay it is an error invalid syntax error okay let me run let me run this again okay another error So guys now we are going to learn our elif statement in python that how can we use elif in statement in python it's just like if statement that we use and we will use the same example as we use in the if statement so i'm just going to copy the uh, this one uh, print statements and i will copy and make a new file here so elif you can call this statement elif or else whatever you want to say I'm, I will make a comment here elif statement or as if statement whatever you want to call but here in python we call it elif you must have here in other programming language that if as if but here if we use elif so now first of all i'm going to uh, copy the same content here and here you can see i just uh, copy and paste it here so i can save my some time and now we are what we are going to do i will comment here elif statement using 
elif statement statement fine now what we are going to do we are uh, using if statement here first if age greater than equal to greater than equal to 18 print now we are going to making a, a, a voting a voting app a voting voting program to check whether a person is able to able to vote or not if a person is a if greater than or equal to 18 then he is able to vote or he or she be able to vote uh, if you are 18 if age greater than equal to 18 you are able to vote and here we, use, we will use a elif statement and we will say elif age less than equal to 18 no sorry not equal to if elif age equal to less than 18 print that you are not able to that not that you are not able to vote you are no, not able to vote fine you guys can also make an other elif statement because i do not have an other example in the voting machine in the voting program so let me add another example it must be worst but you have to understand the what i'm going to say to i'm just trying to teach you and that this is a leaf statement that we use in our program like as if statement okay i just i'm just going to add an other other example that if you are able to vote uh, if age a leaf age not equal to not equal to 18 no this uh, this ex exclamation mark uh, defines that you are not equal to so we use it in python even in and uh, also in other programming language if no age is not equal to 18 print uh, you can also print that you are not able to or oh, you are a kid that if you if your age is not equal to 18 you can say that you are a kid you can't vote right now else else print this is just an example i'm just trying to show you this how else and if else condition work in python and you can also print that uh, uh, for example not equal to greater than equal to and at, at last you can say you have you need a id card you need a id to be a part to vote simply so I, it's just an example i, I know it's a, a very bad example but it's enough to teach you it's you can understand what, what i'm trying to say that we can use how can we use else or elif statement in our python program you can also use and other examples uh, i will also try to teach you i will also make a interview program so that you guys can understand if else conditions so now here you can see and i'm going to compile and show you what are the out outputs so here you can see name and uh, the name or oh, it's uh, here's a, a programming error in line 6 let me check it out age equal to integer integer import fine 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 okay let me run this program again okay enter your name okay enter your age 20 this is just an example uh, it said that you are able to vote here you can see that we write a successful program using if and if else condition so guys now we are going to learn the concept of for loop we have learned a lot of things like if condition if else data types comments and main dot by in main dot by we learn about print statement and now we are going to learn the concept of for loop while loop and loop well basically we are going to learn the concept of loops in python simply i'm just going to make a new file here for loop for loop dot python dot py and i will make a comment here for loop and just make a new uh, some space i'm going to zoom it fine now i'm just uh, now how we use loops 
you must have know about dictionary that in dictionary we use this delimiter or this curly braces uh, this curly braces curly braces or delimiters and same as in same we will you in loop we will also use this delimiter so I'm just going to show it to you how to use uh, for example I'm just going to use uh, for example books like this uh, and uh, delimiters and what I'm going to do I will make a I will add some things uh, books in the delimiters or in the in the loop uh, books means anything that you want English the book of English a book of physics even programming books you can also write JavaScript JS Java and even also Python and now what we are going to do we are going to use a loop here how can we use loop so simply write for because we are going to use for loop in a uh, for loop in Python so we will write for loops uh, we will write for so for X in books right just remember this we are going uh, this books is uh, you have to write this uh, whatever you write the name of the loop so we are going to make a loop using for X in books but uh, now what I'm going to do I just add a col colon here and print what you have to print is X okay let me okay here you can see this is our uh, this is our Py, Java, Python and English, Physics, JavaScript this is our for loop and you can see but, but what happen if you use so what happen if you enter this books in this space in the place of X okay let me show you what will be output okay now we we are not using X we are using books in the print statement we are now we are going to uh, go, going to print the books okay now let's see the output as you can see this is our output you will see the output like this when you don't use X in the print section in the print statement uh, but when you use X in the in the print statement you will see the output is like this but when you use the books in the or in the name of the loop like you can use any name like even you can use for loop name and here you have also have to ch make change for loop fine now let's see the output is same because there is X and also make change here for loop. For loop. now here you can see this is our output let's make another uh, let's learn another thing in the for example you uh, here is a for loop the name of the uh, loops and for loop and let's make a change if you add a double quotation here and write for loop in double quotation what will be the output let me show you the output is like this oh here you can see okay let me make a change here and X okay here you send here you can see uh, it print for loop not the our not our loop but we because we for X in for loop we added in a double quotation not in the without double quotation if we write without double quotation the output will be simple as we expected but if we if we add a double quotation here in the name of the for loop so the output will be for loop here you can see so guys now we have learned uh, the concept of for loop in python so guys now we are going to learn the concept of while loop as we learn for loop in python and now we are going to learn the concept of while loop so I, first of all i will make a while.py file named while.py otherwise while loop.py uh, and and i will comment here while loop in python simply while loop and now i will just make a space here so we can write our code what is while loop for example you have to do a work of a 
uh, and you want to make a remainder that if for example you have to write counting from 1 to 9 not 10 you just have to do a work from 1 to 9 not 10 not including 10 so how we will do this we will do this using while loop for example first of all we will initialize this uh, start is equal to 1 this is our uh, we, first of all we have to initialize and uh, this is a, a I will comment here initialize initialize fine and now we will con we will use our while loop condition here while start less than 10 it's mean our start this the condition will be start from 1 and it will less than 9 less than 10 it will not include 10 it will be less than 9 and I will add a colon here after that you have to add print and also start so it will start from uh, from 1 to 9 and also if you just print this like this it will make an error or just print 1 1 1 infinitely so I just don't want this and will cut this and I will also a uh, condition here that start is equal to start plus one okay now let's check the output uh, it's printing out oh, yes our result is fine now you can see that oh, we got the same result as we want and i will just make a space here of all I'm just going to make a new file here list.py and I will also make a new file here dict.py okay first of all I will I'm just going to make a list here and make a some space here so lists in Python okay now what we are going to do is that making a list is like my list and what we are going to do in list we use these square brackets and now what we are going to do adding some things like use what you have to buy for use for yourself books sorry in, in double quotation we will write books in double quotation and now use books and water or whatever you want to add it for yourself this is just an example of list and some clothes and also winter and summer jackets jackets and also tuitions this is just an example so so i'm just going to print this list and print my list where is my list here it is okay now print this here you can see the our, li our list is now successfully printed so if you want to find something sp specific in the list so what will you do i'm just going to so you guys can see i'm just reducing it so you guys can see the output or you guys can this you guys can see okay now so what if you want uh, something spe uh, specific in the list for example you want a uh, you want you want tuitions only tuitions not anything else so what will you write so first of all uh, you have to notice that the index of the the index of the my list is 0 1 2 and 3 4 five six it's own number six so now what we're going to do i'm going to add print my list and square brackets on six let's print it again and it will show an error uh, so what's the output i think i made a mistake here so i have to write here five not six as i did six so then i'm just going to make it five and let's check the output and here is tuition so if you want to find something specific so you guys can use this method to find something specific in the in my list or in list or whatever you want if you can also make another list like 
list of list of anything that you want uh, for example I'm just going to add list of fruits because I already use this example so I would like to use it again so fruits veg and vegetables like tomato potato potato and apple pineapple and also something other like orange banana okay it's a so I'm just going to print it and I will show it to you print roots vegetables okay now I'm, I will print this so here you can see our output and if you want to uh, find something specific then we have to use this basis and then press 0 you will see tomato here because the index is 0 uh, here you can see tomato tomato is not defined but here you can see the result okay now you can see guys can I uh, use my list in Python now we are going to going to learn our dictionary in Python so so here is my dictionary here you can see okay I will make a comment here dictionary in Python control slash dictionary in Python okay consider there are three brothers Harry Carrie and Larry and they want books uh, they want programming books like uh, python java and c++ and you want to know that which brother wants which books so you can deliver them in other other places like both and uh, the three brothers are living in different three places so you guys can so you can send them books in different places so what you will what will you do you have to create a dictionary so you can uh, differentiate that which brother wants which books for example books equal to dictionary and uh, for example harry wants uh, harry wants and a colon harry wants c plus plus carry wants carry wants python and larry wants the are three brothers and Larry wants Java and now you have to send the books differently in the different places so okay now print books print books fine now let's check the output so here you can see our dictionary is now printed successfully here you can see Harry wants C++ Carry wants Python and Larry wants Java and what you have to do if a if for example if uh, Harry do not want C++ he wants something else so what will you do you have to replace C++ with anything else whatever he wants or whatever he wants it so we have to make a change some uh, some change here so I will make a space here and you have to write the name of the uh, dictionary books books and this braces and you have to write the name of Harry he wants he, he don't want C++ he want JavaScript then what will you do you want to replace the C++ with JavaScript then what we, we will do you have to name you have to write the name of the person and after that you have to write the name what he wants like JavaScript okay fine now what we will do we are going to print this and here you can see Harry wants JavaScript, Carry wants Python and Larry wants Java. Now we use this method to uh, replace C++ with JavaScript. What if uh, we want to remove Harry from the list we will use the pop function. Pop means remove and first of all I will comment this one and I will use here print not print sorry books books dot pop books dot pop and uh, round braces and here you uh, here you have to write the name of the person you want to remove 
after that just simply just simply compile here you can see we remove Harry from the top and there are just two brothers Harry and, and Larry and you have to send books to them so it's quite easy to pop up pop something in the in the dictionary and it was also it, it is it was also easy to replace something with something for, for example we replace C++ with JavaScript so so you guys must know the concept of now a dictionary and also build and list so what we have to do is now to learn the concept of sets and tuples so guys now we are going to understand the concept of sets that what are sets how can we use sets in python simply i'm just going to make a new file sets.python sets.py sorry and here i will write a comment control slash and i will use sets in python i will make a space here and what we are going to do i'm just going to make a set this is set whatever you want to name in name it i'm just going to name it this is set equal to curly braces sorry curly braces here fine and i'm just going to make a set of things like books vegetable and also sorry for this and we will add water we will also add clothes we will also add i apologize for this we will also add something like home home things that you want for your home and we will also add something that is necessary for your home like uh, like saucepan saucepan or whatever you want and I will also add one more thing and is that programming books okay fine now what we are going to do we are going first of all I will compile this print this is set and let me show you and here you can this is our list you can see and first of all I will you can see this is our list and what I'm going to do I'm I will just add a new thing in it for example you want something else add want to add something else in the list for example you that you forget you will you do uh, you you have to write your the name of the set uh, this is set dot add now you have to add like whatever you want to add you want to add C++ and I will print this and it shows that C++ oh or there is already C++ I think uh, no okay fine our result it's working hey you can see this C++ here but I think it have to show in the front but it didn't so I think there is an error and for example you have to delete something from the list from the sorry from the set so what will you do you will do this is set dot discard not remove you will use discard and you have to write the name of thing that you want to remove from the set like books if you want to remove the books from that what will be output uh, you can say uh, no books is here now uh, first it was books was here but right now books is greeted from the set so this was the concept of the sets in the python and here is one more thing in the in the sets that we will now we're going to use the set dot update so what will this will do set dot update and now what we are going to do we will add uh, and simply write and we will add a uh, braces here a square braces here and you have to write whatever you want to update in the in the set so you have to write here like you want some books like uh, or you want some more vegetables you want vegetables like tomato i apologize for this one 
and tomato and whatever you want to write like pineapple fruits you want fruit or you want uh, something else like you want new clothes so let's check the output and here you can see here is our new list and here you can see new new things home things a very our new thing hey you can see vegetable pineapple water tomato hey is our new thing so guys this is the concept of sets in python and now what we are going to do we are going to learn the concept of tuples in python so guys now we are going to learn the concept of tuples in python simply i'm going to make a new file here i will name it as tuple.python and after this you can say that you are a python developer if you learned everything that i teach to you from start to end the, after learning these things that are elif for loop python and the list main uh, and sets.py and tuple by loops and for loop whatever i have teached you after this you can say yourself that you are a python absolute beginner and you know python you can say it anyone to anyone that you are a python developer you can write codes in python uh, so what i'm going to do i will make a i will make a comment here that tuples in python so now what i'm going to do i will uh, i will give name to my tuple that this is a tuple this is a tuple equal to sorry equal to and after this we have to add these round braces and here we have to add things like add we as we did so i'm just going to copy from the from the list or you can copy it from anywhere i'm just going to copy it from the list and where is tuple 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 head is, is and i will just paste it here and i will make a change that i will use our round braces here and and round braces here fine okay i'm just going to paint the round just paint the tuple then i will also show you one more thing in the tuple print this is tuple and here you can see this is our tuple and you can see this in the terminal section in the output and one more thing that you have to learn in the in tuples that if for example if if, if we want to use if condition in tuple then how we will we will use if if juice for example if juice in this tuple is in this tuple in this is this is tuple then print print yes there is juice and let me show you the output here you can see and nothing nothing is changed i think there is an error i think i have to remove this print statement and also this and let me show you again and syntax error and i think i have to add in in this stuff i just forgot about this and now everything is fine now i have just going to compile this again and now you can see okay let me compile this again i think it's giving me the error because this spelling of my juice is incorrect as you can see uh, well incorrect is here not here so let me change it okay fine now let me compile this again and here you can see it the output is yes there is juice if you add uh, like something that is not available in the tuple it will say that okay let me show you like uh, things etc just add cricket football whatever you want football okay football i like football okay okay it will say that it's not available you also have to write else here else else and print no 
not available so let's check the output and it said not available because we have not added football in our in our tuple here you can see not anywhere so it's sad so that's why it said not available so you can also use if statement in this in this tuple so guys i may hope that you guys learned everything that i teach you from start to ending so now you can say that you are a python programmer you can write codes in python you can even you can also write your own code in python and teach others if you learned everything that i teach you so we will meet again in the next lectures in the next course so make sure that you have subscribed my youtube channel and and press the bell icon for me new updates and the new videos thanks thank you very much